We gon' leave it all on the floor, chow. Yo, 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 it's the biggest voice on the low. We on the floor with the show. Hey, man, say, y'all see him. You got to complain. This who you hit. Big Cowboy White, the building. <laughs> <laughs> Big Cowboy White, the building. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's up with it, buddy? What's up, man? What's up? I like the intro. That bit man, say, you know, there. we got to have it ready for you, bro. You always going to bring it. But say, for the fuck, don't know about it. Tell us about it, where you from, how you come to it out. Uh, I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay. I've been living in uh, Dallas. What, 2012, 2022, now I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. I go by the name of Calamar White, stand-up comedian, but most people might know me as Agent Ratliff now. <laughs> Pull it up to your local job, your nearest job, cussing out your boss or your manager, man. Y'all fired him for playing, stop playing. Man. Bro, where, where did you come up with that concept? Like, where did that all come from? You just woke up one day like, man, this is what I'm on or what? How did it come about? Shit, just being in the house board. It started, yeah. it started me, like, just going on. Instagram live, call mm. them people bosses and shit like that. So the first mm. season, we crunked that bitch off. The first season, I was just wearing regular clothes. Yeah. The first season, we were averaging like 10, 20 viewers or whatnot. So nigga hit me up. He was like, man, don't be discouraged, man. Like, because mm -hmm. you know, like, that should have just discouraged nah, that's good. They're not get them nah, views nah, nah, for, sure. for sure. And they want to give up. So yeah. he was like, man, don't be discouraged by the views and shit like that. So the first season, we did eight episodes. Like I said, I was in my regular clothes, and then mm -hmm. I took a month off, and we came back the second season. Now I got the uniforms and shit on, so people looking like, "Oh, this nigga, this shit for real." You feel me? <laughs> then by like the third, the third, I want to say the third episode on the second season, I had got into it with that one nigga. You feel mm -hmm. me? And I put around, told the nigga like, "Nigga, you keep talking, nigga, I will pull up on your ass." You feel mm -hmm. me? And then it's like the light bulb just went off in my head. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start pulling up on motherfucker for real. Then I started just. Pulling up on people and that shit started, you know, taking off. Going crazy. Yeah, been having emotion. Was Going crazy. crazy. So what you like as a kid? Was you always on some funny shit? Was you always just like bold doing wild shit? Or was you a prankster or what? What you was on as a kid? I know as a kid, I was always left to my imagination. I grew okay. up an only child. Okay. You feel me? So that's why I don't be scared to try shit. You mm -hmm. know, like... I ain't had no sisters and brothers to go to and be like, man, what y'all think about this? Then they mm -hmm. tell me the shit ain't working and I don't want to put it out. So growing up as an only child, the world was always my child. Like anything sure. I do, I put that shit out to the world. And if they fuck with it, they fuck with it. If they don't, nigga, I still did it. You yeah, not for sure. So, yeah. So stand-up comedy, how do you how do you put all that into your motion? Do you just be like, <laughs> do you practice your jokes? You got shit in your head, life stories, how that go? Man, when I was rapping, the stand-up comedy come from when I was rapping. Okay. Like I told myself like, I always wanted to sign with that nigga T.I. And that's just, that, but it's, it's crazy how it come full circle. Yeah. I see that nigga tip down there every week now. Like we be chopping it up. By he doing time. comedy too. Yeah, he got know, right. He know exactly yeah. why he don't talk shit. So man, I want to sign to that nigga. I remember like 2016, nigga. He pulled up the Onyx for mm -hmm. his birthday out here in Dallas. Yeah, but I waited out there for about like two, three hours on this nigga to pull up just to get that nigga my CD. And the CD was called uh, Best Things Is Tip. Mm. You feel me? I stole that nigga Urban Legend cover. I redid it. And she, you feel me? And shit like that. So when I gave him the CD, I was like, man, I'm going to get this nigga 60 days. But I know this nigga going to sign. <laughs> I said, well, I, I said yeah, I, the 60 days count that. 60 days, I said, but I know this nigga going to sign. Yeah. But like nine months went by. I ain't get no call from that nigga. I'm like, damn. You ever told that nigga that story, bro? I, I waited outside for your motherfucking nigga. Well, I told that nigga that yeah. shit. I told, I told, he remember too, because I gave that nigga a birthday gift. I gave that nigga my CD. Oh, and, you were for real? In the Fox tail, you feel me? I just yeah, knew I was going to sign with Till. That was like, that was my end goal in rap. Nigga yeah. sign with Grand Hustle. If I don't sign with them, I ain't finna be like these other niggas out here rapping till they old. I'm going to just figure out something else. Got that so right. like, five years went by with rapping. That shit ain't work. My end goal ain't work how I want to work. So I like, fuck, I'm going to do comedy. I always been a funny nigga anyway. I always... Roast the whole, roast the nigga, make their ass, tell their ass up. So yeah. It was just like structuring my funny and putting that shit all together type shit. But it was a like, it was a, it was a gift and a curse. Mm -hmm. And like I say, all the shit come full circle now because every Wednesday I go to Tilt Spot, Trap City Cafe. Mm -hmm. You know, they do comedy night on Wednesday. Okay. And he be in that bit all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check that out. That nigga know who I am. He made sure I go up, all type of shit. So now this hard though. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest step you taken doing the stand up comedy? What was like your biggest fear you had to get over? Like shit, getting your ass on that stage. Yeah, that was my OG K Dub man. He always tell me that shit, man. Stay your ass on stage, man. Like, yeah. And that's why I moved to Atlanta. Cause, like I here in Dallas when I was doing comedy, like it was cool to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. It ain't like it ain't like. It ain't like Atlanta, like nigga. You go out on a Tuesday or Wednesday night, bitch, to an open mic. They hold pack like a real show. Hmm. Ain't no telling who. Nah, that's how it is out there. Like nah, the for real, for real. Them showcases different. And niggas be scared to go. I be seeing a nigga. Ah, right, nigga be scared to hit that stage. But hmm. me, nigga, I'ma tear that bitch up. And I don't give a fuck how I do. Cause when I'm walking to the stage, I always have in the back of my mind like, fuck everybody. Oh, I ain't right. even going on stage. So. <laughs> and they say, fuck everybody. I, I go out there, tell their ass up real quick, do my little time, get off, take my ass home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you you put the acting into it. What you got going on with the acting? How the, how the acting all come back? Shit, now that I got my own, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I did I did one movie. I mm -hmm. played uh, a police officer. I had yeah. a big ass uniform on. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you the opportunity, bro? Uh, some niggas out here in Dallas, okay. the, the movie called The Drop Spot. Yeah. But far as acting, like, I ain't did no acting, but bitch, I tell people I'm a movie star, because like I said, when before I came here, I was at an editing session, mm -hmm. editing my movie that we finna get ready to drop, so. What's the name of that? Don't give, a, don't give us a big old kaboom. What the? That be called Real Company, Real Complaints. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's just you? And who, who it's, else up in it? You got somebody? It's just me. You seen the movie, yeah. Jackass? Oh yeah. yeah, like the office, like yeah, that yeah, one yeah, camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, it's just me. Like like when you go on my Instagram, all the shit, they all the video you see, mm -hmm. it's basically that, but just like in movie format type. No, for sure. So who you want to work with? Who's like one one on the comedian tip? Like probably having one of your skits, some you got any big ideas? Somebody you want to bring along on the journey or what? Shit, I don't worry about all the niggas. DC, Mike, El, Carlo, Desi. But uh, who the lives on this? Far, like, far like skit. That's what I'm saying. People be asking me to do skits, and they be like, "Bitch, I'm on something different now." Like, bitch, yeah. I got my own company. Bitch, these ain't no skit. Like, yeah. nigga, like, nigga, y'all come out here and do what I'm gonna do. Like, funny Marco, that nigga hit me up like once a month, give me hard. game and shit like That's that. Hard. Uh, he wanted a uniform when he got that nigga a shirt. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga ain't hit the field with me yet. Like, yeah. Marco, like, come on with I'm it. like, boy, nigga be scared to hit that field. I don't know. About. Bro, that shit dangerous, boy. Nah, it ain't. You just got to have heart. Like, people be calling my phone every day like, bro, I want to work for OCDA, man. Hire me, hire me, hire me. Yeah. And I tell them, like, you got to go out in the field and send in your video. Like, find a job, ask for the manager, go up on the air real quick, make up some complaint, make the video like 20, 30 seconds. And send it back to me. We're going to send you an employee kit. We're going to hire you on. And then you feel me part of the team. Right now, I only got two employees. My first employee was a white boy from Cincinnati, Ohio. A white boy mm. with a toad ass, a custom manager. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a... Uh, and then I got a stud chick from Jacksonville. Duval. Yeah. Shout out to Duval. Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I only got two employees. Oh, I had a third employee, but I had to fire that nigga. What do you want no good? He wasn't funny or what? What, what, what got him fired? That nigga disrespectful talking about people, uh, dead relatives. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you can't yeah. be funny without doing that shit. Yeah, the yeah, whole, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, when I walk in these companies, in the back of my mind, I tell myself, nigga, remember to be funny. Like, I don't take that shit. Yeah, two serious type shit. What's yeah. what's one of the wildest spins you had? Yeah. Have anybody ever cocked laws on you? Or tried to fight or anything oh, like that? That happened all the time. But yeah. me and the old white lady, we got like a little tussle over some paper. That bitch like, <laughs> like steal my papers, bro. I like that snatch my shit. Back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Strong bad grip on my shit. <laughs> like, let my shit go. Fuck on with you. Oh, you don't be having security man. with you or nothing, bro. You just be out there solo or what? Like I used to have a cameraman. Okay, like, shout out to my cameraman. But today was my first time going in the field with the uh with the Ray Ban D O right here, the Ray Ban glasses. Stand the shot. Yeah, I be reading the comments. Everybody yeah. be like, like when I post a video, I always engage with the comments and mm -hmm. shit. Everybody like, well, you need them Ray Ban glasses, so they won't know it's a cameraman. Get them Ray Ban glasses. And I finally got them. I posted a video. So it's a camera in the Ray Ban glasses. Yeah, I recorded two coming up. You don't even know it. God. When damn. I had the hose on. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, y'all was recording everywhere. <laughs> 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 this shit for real. I'm sorry, man. 
Nah, for sure. So what's your next step with all this, bro? Like, what's, what's you got a movie coming? We got the movie coming out. Uh, the next step. Uh, shit, really, be I'm trying to make this whole Fortune 500 company. When I be talking about, when I be telling people this a real company, a real complaint. Yeah. Like I be dead ass serious. Like this is a real company. I'm talking about copyright, trademark, LLC. Yeah. You know, official website. People go to the website, file their complaints, and then I get them all. You feel me? It's a five ninety nine fee. And people be filing all over the country, bro. People want me to pull up to their job all over the fucking country. They be hitting me up like I got a private jet. Mm-hmm. Like, well, if we need you in Nebraska tomorrow, like, nigga, what? Mm-hmm. It's on way in Atlanta, nigga. You What's one of the wildest Nebraska? complaints you got? But you just like, man, it's wild right here. I want to fuck your head up like, damn, nigga, you really want me to come do this? Shit, the more wilder, the better. For nah, me. for sure, for sure. I got that like, right. Shit, the more wilder this shit, I was like, yeah, I'm finna go in here and tell the ass. So, uh, so what's your best one? Well, let me say that. My what's best your, one? What's your I, best I, one that got the most views and shit? The most views? Crazy. I ain't, the most, the one with the most views, uh, I don't know, but my best one is the not need girl. I went and got shirts made. That shit. Like, <laughs> the knock me girl. Where, yeah, that shirt, the shirt say, where the knock me girl at? Yeah. That was like, that was like a, uh, a main line in that video. Mm. That was my favorite video. Yeah. And yeah. then the photo uniform. Nah, it was like, when I started hitting the field, I had the uniform. Okay. But when I was, the first season of the complaint calls was, I was in regular clothes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I do the complaint call here too, the two, if I can't get to your job and shit, I damn sure call there. Call in. Hit him up. Call him, cuss the ass, smooth the fuck out. So, Have you ever got out? Every Tuesday, next Tuesday, we going live, 7 p.m. Okay. That's how this shit all started, man. This shit started on live, man, Instagram live. Man. Now we out in the field with it, man, cussing these folks out. Cussing out uh, corporate America. Like, all them white folks who think they can just do what the fuck they want to do on the job, treat a bitch any kind of way. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to cut your ass out. Mm. My job is I want your ass to go home and, and bit really self, think about and, this and, shit. and self-reflect. That's, <laughs> all, that's, that's, that's the whole point of this. Nah, for I'm real. pulling up to the job, cussing your ass out, hoping you go home and self-reflect and know that this is how people really feel about you. Man, say so I know you be having some people feeling good about they self they gonna like, yeah, he checked that bitch. That bitch going to calm down next time we we'll come up in Man, this I remember I went to one company, nigga, like, Three days later, the nigga had texted me like, hey, bro, man, we appreciate you, man. Them crackers in here talking about throwing those pizza parties here. <laughs> <laughs> I said, nah, yeah, for man, sure. yeah. Step that in that thing. Yeah, they right. Well, hey, shout out to my sponsors. This another game of show, please. Now, look, you ask yourself this. Don't look at me crazy. You don't want to answer. Take your shot, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing to it but to do. Shit. Damn, one got to go. Sexy Red or Gorilla? Glow Riddle. Nah, Sexy Red woman. Sexy Red gotta go? Glow Riddle because she can rap. Nah, for sure. I know that. Yeah, Glow, bitch. I yeah, know that that's my shit. Nah, for sure. I know the words in there. Read it how turned up to that yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, These bitches sure. fraudulent. They can't fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> Stop overthinking. Nah, for sure. All right, who is your current crush? Who you liking on? You in the ace, so I know you seeing all type of shit. Who you liking on, though? No, who do it for you? Man. Nah, no, you ain't lying about that. Be careful. Hey. You ain't lying about that. Who you liking on? Who do? Still Regina King. Regina King. Oh, this nigga went throwback. Yeah, she yeah, used to be the shit, too. Well, she still is the shit. Still is. Oh, Regina King. Nah, for real. Now, hold on. Regina King. Which one played Candy and is it Regina Hall? Regina Hall. Regina yeah, yeah, Hall. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the one. Yeah, Regina Hall. Okay. Yeah. Look at you, right? Scary movie. Candy. Yeah, like candy. I don't want nothing to look. Yeah. I want old women, man. Got that right. Yeah. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. Have you ever hit your pot in the bitch? Hell no, nah, I won't play on top of that. I'm suck ass shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, one gotta go. Instagram or Snapchat? Oh, Snapchat, out of here. You ain't got no snap, huh? Mm-hmm. That shit for females. Man. Got that right. One gotta go. Weed or alcohol? Alcohol. Need your weed? Yeah. Okay. Need weed. Goddamn right. Damn. One gotta go. Kevin Hart or Mike Evans? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. 
Mike, that was OG, huh? That was my favorite comedian. Nah, for real. I met him backstage, bro. He a real nigga. He, slot, he solid in the bitch, bro. Hey, that nigga, man, November 17th, bitch, Kevin Hart, yo, boy, yo, I had bumped my motherfucking show. Nigga, I had a show at ATL Comedy Theater, two shows, 7.30, 10.30. And the owner called me, he was like, man, I got some good news. I got some bad news. I say, man, what the bad news is? He said, man, we got to cancel both of your shows. Mm. I'm like, all right, damn. So he, I'm like, what the good news is? He's like, well, I'm going to give you a guest spot for Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart called the club, said he want to try some new material, so we got to bump your we gotta bump your night. I'm like, all right. So he was like, when you get in here, you know, uh, I'm going to escort you to the green room. Don't be all pushy. I'm going to get you a picture. I'm like, bro, you ain't got to tell me not to be a groupie. Nigga, y'all, you got like, I ain't never been around these type yeah, of niggas yeah, yeah. before. Like, nigga, you feel me? So then when the nigga Kev get there, uh, well, when I get the, I go, I get in. That nigga ain't even escort me to the green room. That nigga treated me like one of his workers. That nigga said, "You go stand, you go sit over there by the bar, mm. and you just wait to return. We gonna call you on stage, whoop the whoop and all that shit." So I go on stage, kill my set. Kevin, that nigga did not see it. That nigga ain't even come in until it was about time for him to perform. I ain't get no picture. I like nigga, you cancel my night, nigga. You ain't even keep your word. Mm. So now it's kind of like. I don't know. Kevin bitch your ass in the bump. Cat Wills wasn't lying, goddamn. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna remember that shit too. Oh, like, yeah, nigga, got you, to. Nigga, you cancel my night for Kevin Hart. Goddamn, Kevin. Mm-hmm. Talking about the guest spot. Guest spot. Fuck out of it. Would you rather have more time or more money? More time? Because they ain't gonna get the money. Hmm. Nah, that's fixed. Okay. What do you prefer, a woman with good credit or a woman with money? What you mean, money like cash and shit? Yeah, like shit, nigga. It's in the bank account. We ain't got to go get no credit. We ain't, yeah, we going to cash out on everything. Yeah, you need the money. Give you the money. Fuck that credit, that credit shit. Yeah. That credit shit. Yeah. We're going to scam our way to the top. We're going to get some free block, bitch. I got all that. Bitch. Yeah. Don't just be here. You think I'm paying for my flight? Yeah, you think I'm paying for my flight? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what well, got a go, your barber or your doctor, nigga? Barber. Yeah. Barber. 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 Get you a few hoes, but I nigga can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I nigga can't say that right. Shut up, for sure, for sure. What do you prefer, a month in jail or a month in the hospital? In the hospital, I don't did jail yeah, three times, did four years in prison, did. Get me out there in the hospital. Well, you don't make it out of the hospital. Get something you can't get rid of. Are you saying in the hospital because like, you sick? Yeah, nigga. Oh, give me the month in jail. No, nigga. Yeah, I'll take the month. You say you did four years in jail. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm jail. I'm like, 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 i am like i April 7th, the OCDA tour. Then we coming to Dallas May 16th. Then we in LA April 21st. Then we in, uh, damn, I gotta look at the schedule. I just posted that shit, but we got a lot of dates. Okay. Folks coming up. We in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, May 3rd. That's hard. Yeah, we got a lot of dates. That shit be scattered all out. And I be knowing this shit by myself. No manager, no man. So, like, all that shit, all my booking, I, I be on to keep up. Yeah. That Nigga, I edit my video and I do all that shit. How you balance all that, bro? Shit, just driving determination to want to be somebody. And nigga, I, nigga, nigga, why you think I got these? Nigga, to cancel out the camera, man. Hmm. Like, bitch, I'm going to I record this shit myself. I need to learn what you I, got, baby. Like I said, I grew up the only child, so doing shit myself. Like, I, I take pride in that shit, because ain't nobody going to get that shit done how you get. Hmm. Or with the same tenacity and the same effort as you. It's like motherfuckers gonna see your vision. Are you gonna see it? Nah, that's, them facts. Them truth right though. Not yeah. damn right. Well, hey, I sure appreciate you coming up, pushing up on me, big dog. It's Big Calamara. It's the choke, and we gotta go. Holler at you folks.
Yes, sir. Nah, that was hard.